teaching on Jesus Christ is that Jesus is the Son of God. He was the first thing that Jehovah created, and uh, through him other creative works were done. Now some religions teach that God and Jesus are one and the same, but the Bible does not teach that, and it, therefore neither do Jehovah's Witnesses. We believe that the Bible teaches that Jesus carries out a number of functions for Jehovah God, the Most High. For example, in the Hebrew Scriptures, he is referred to as Michael. Uh, Michael, literally translated into English, means, who is like God. Witnesses believe that Jesus Christ is a spirit creature, a super angel, the first creation of Jehovah God, who prior to coming to earth as a man, existed in heaven as Michael the Archangel. Jesus started out originally as the Logos, or Michael the Archangel. who then came to earth as the virgin-born son of Mary. He was a perfect, sinless man. But he was only a man, devoid of all divinity. Jesus walked the earth as a man, becoming the Christ only when he was baptized. Jehovah's Witnesses hold the cross in contempt feeling that it is nothing more than a pagan symbol used by apostate Christendom. Instead, they teach that at the completion of his ministry, Jesus died, not on the cross, but on an upright stake. Christ's body was then laid in a tomb where it was disintegrated by God, totally destroyed forever. Jesus was then recreated by the Father, before going to heaven, he materialized in different bodies on different occasions to convince his disciples and others that he had really been resurrected. Jesus returned to his Father in heaven, where once again he became Michael the Archangel. He will never again be seen on the earth in visible form, but instead rules invisibly from the heavens. When he executes judgment over the world at Armageddon, he will destroy all but the faithful Jehovah's Witnesses. Michael, who will always remain invisible to those on earth and can be seen only by the 144,000 select Jehovah's Witnesses who rule with him from heaven. <laughs> 